lawyer for the family of a University of Maryland football player who died after an intense workout is calling for the head football coach to be fired. What would you do if on June 13th, 2018, I told you a Maryland football player experienced one of the most tragic events in the program's history? That being Jordan McNair, who suffered from a heat stroke at his own conditioning practice at the age of 19. And that this would lead to the firing of Maryland football's head coach, P.J. Durkin. This firing mostly had happened because of the fact that people thought he was leading into a toxic coaching culture that had ruined the industry and ruined the game of football. The University of Maryland wrote to us in a statement promising a full investigation and saying humiliating and demeaning a student is not only bad teaching and coaching, it is an abuse of the authority of a teacher and coach. We should also add that this is all still under investigation and some players and coaches have come forward to speak in praise of head coach Durkin. Alex. Tony, thank you. On that last fatal day of conditioning, it must be noted that Jordan McNair had fin difficulty finishing a 110-yard sprint, and it was found that his body temperature was 106 degrees at the local hospital. This body temperature can lead to any form of heat stroke and is fatal to any human's life. Even after the death of McNair, in all the backlash that the organization had got from the situation, reports came out from the week of August 3rd that the coaches, especially Court, as shown in that picture before, continued the bullying and behavior towards the practices and the students and athletes that were playing in them. You shouldn't be able to work with anybody else's kid. You don't send your kid away to college, Michael. You send your kid away to college for them to be developed into young people and that's physically emotionally you know spiritually and just teach these people teach our, our young our young kids our young people that we work so hard to get there to hey i'm giving my child to you keep him safe and they did anything but that so of course he should be fired and the university has started some safety measures saying that they will make sure that this never happens to another kid again and to another family, but you guys have not stopped as well. You've started a foundation. So what is your goal with your foundation? Well, the Jordan McNair Foundation was established to um, promote uh, education, awareness, and prevention of heat-related illnesses, uh, stop the bullying, you know, to learn a, a child to learn their body, student athletes to learn their body. I, I ask everybody, especially all parents, Please go to the JordanMcNairFoundation.org, contact us because this particular injury isn't something that just happened to Jordan. This happens all the time. Mm -hmm. Well, I want to thank you. In light of all the darkness, the McNair family was able to create a foundation out of what their son had accomplished in life, and they were able to look forward to helping out other people who could use that and prevent their son's death in the future. In October, DJ Durkin was considered not guilty, and it was determined through an investigation that Durkin essentially had done nothing wrong and would not be punished any further. Hearing this news, the Maryland president would officially announce the retirement of his career. With that being said, the man showed here by the name of Mr. Loxie would take on the team as the head coach and lead them to a successful season in the future. This next clip shows one of the many few tributes that the Maryland football team decided to do in light of Jordan McNair. An emotional day for the Maryland football team. They squared off against Texas in their season opener at FedEx Field, their first game since the death of Jordan McNair, and a scandal that has rocked all of college football. The Terps took the field Saturday afternoon with a number 79 flag in hand. They then carried Jordan McNair's jersey to the coin toss, and on their first offensive play of the game, the Terps had only 10 players line up, leaving an open spot on the line in honor of their teammate. McNair died after a workout in June. They will take a delay of game. Texas on board with this. The Terps opened up that drive with a quick touchdown. Jay Sean Jones, the freshman, hits the speed burst and takes the sweep for the score to give Maryland the early lead. After a lengthy weather delay and a back and forth game, the Terps get a late interception to seal the deal, stunning the number 23 ranked Longhorns 34 to 29 honoring McNair with a big win. Interim coach Matt Canada, emotional after the game. Thinking about Jordan. You guys were talking about over there. What the hell are we for those kids? They've been through a lot. 
Jordan McNair carries a story that should never be forgotten. He died doing what he loved and changed the football program for the rest of the people to come after him. R.I.P. Jordan McNair, 1999 to 2018. Your soul will be remembered. Peace out, big dog. Thank you.